John from NVIDIA. I want to talk today about Adobe CS6 and how you can use Quadro Professional Graphics to accelerate your workflow. We're passionate about a lot of things here at NVIDIA and music is one of them. So we took advantage of that fact to shoot a music video featuring some NVIDIA employees with the band Heavy Hand. When we shot this video, we're going to edit it in Premiere Pro, we're going to do some motion graphics using After Effects, we're going to color grade it in Speed Grade, and all these are going to use Quadro Professional Graphics to accelerate the workflow. So first, let's go ahead and take a look at the multicam feature. We use nine cameras in this shot. And the cool thing is that we can view them all in, in real time right here on the screen. So let's go ahead and take a look. So the system that we're using here is a Maximus configuration, and that's an NVIDIA uh, Quadro 2000 paired with a NVIDIA Tesla 2075. And it's a high-end system. So we really wanted to make a really complicated project. So we used multiple cameras using multiple codecs. We've got GoPros, we've got Sony EX3s, we've got DSLR footage, and they're all running at different frame rates. And we threw it in here and it's running fine in real time. So let's take a look at the actual multicam playback. So you can see once I start this, we've got fluid playback on all 11 streams. If I wanna stop this and I wanna start scrubbing around in here, you can see that I can scrub back and forth in this video perfect. It's nice and smooth. So let's take a look and see what happens when we turn the GPU off. I'm going to go ahead and enable the software mode. I'm going to go ahead and play back that multicam footage. And immediately what we're going to see is this is going to start stuttering because it just can't keep up with the frame rate. Same thing if we go in here and we start scrubbing. Again, just too slow. It can't keep up. So to maximize your performance when you're editing, especially with multicam, you really need an NVIDIA GPU. And a Maximus configuration is perfect for this. So probably one of my favorite new features in CS6 Premiere Pro is this new uninterrupted playback feature. And what this allows you to do is to adjust your effects while you play back video. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to adjust this color correction on the video. And you can see that I can make the changes in real time. And what this does is it allows me to tweak the settings really you know, precisely as I'm playing back the video. And so this gives me instant feedback in terms of how the effect looks on the video. So let's take a look and see what this looks like without a GPU. Again, I'll turn off the GPU. And the first thing we're going to see is that this footage isn't going to really play back well at all on the CPU. So I'm going to go ahead and, and turn off the rest of these layers so the CPU doesn't have to work as hard. So now I'll go ahead and play this. And what we'll see is that as I make the adjustments here, it freezes the video. You can adjust it on the fly. And in fact, uh, the whole system pretty much has frozen up while the CPU tries to figure out how it's going to accomplish this. And we're actually dealing with a really powerful system here. This is a workstation class Xeon 3 gigahertz system with 24 gigs of RAM. So, you know, this isn't a wimpy system, uh, but the GPU is just that powerful that it really can handle this in real time. So another exciting feature that uses GPU acceleration is the new warp stabilizer. And what this allows you to do is to take shaky footage and actually make it play back smooth. So I've got a sample here where I've applied a warp stabilizer and the CPU has gone ahead and it's analyzed this footage and figured out how to reconstruct the, the footage and move it around so that it can reduce the shake in it and smooth it out and have smooth playback. So, and you can see all the camera movement that we have in here. So let's go ahead and turn the warp stabilizer on. And let's do the same thing. And you can see that now it's, it's smoothed that out. So this is great for any shot that has some camera movement in it. You can save that shot just by running the warp stabilizer on it. And the playback on that is going to be GPU accelerated. So this is a great feature. And anybody that needs to stabilize their video is going to love having a GPU because it's going to make viewing this stuff a lot faster. So I showed you how the new GPU accelerated effects in Adobe Premiere Pro CS6 made it a snap for us to create our music video. And that's just the tip of the iceberg. There's over 40 effects which use GPU acceleration. We decided to go ahead and use some of those effects to create a very unique visual style for our finished video. So first we use the accelerated luma curves and fast blur effects to give our lighting a dramatic glow. Then we simulated a high contrast bleach bypass effect using RGB curves and the tint effect. And finally, we added some blurred noise to simulate the effect of film grain. The final product is a dark, edgy look that runs great on the GPU. So you may have noticed that our music video had a high quality logo of the band that we did in 3D. That was actually done in After Effects using the brand new ray tracing engine that uses NVIDIA Optics technology and is accelerated by the GPU. Now, if anybody's familiar with ray tracing, you know that it's extremely difficult and it's extremely computationally intense. But we can do it on the GPU and we can do it really fast. Uh, I'm actually previewing right now. We're actually seeing this render out on the GPU and it, we've taken this logo all this is is a, uh, a shape that we created in Adobe Illustrator. We've extruded it inside of After Effects. And this is going to give us a very, very high quality motion graphic. You can see that we've got nice soft shadows. We can get reflections on this. And the really cool thing is that we can manipulate this in real time. So I'm going to go ahead and show you how that works. 
Using the camera, we can basically get a really fast preview. And this preview is actually ray traced as well. And you see, as soon as we stop, we immediately get feedback and that renders out. And so we can go ahead and animate our logo and get any look that we want. And a really neat thing is that you used to have to go out to an expensive 3D package in order to get these kind of effects into your video workflow. Now you can do it right inside After Effects and it's 20 times faster on the NVIDIA GPU than you're gonna get with the CPU alone. And one of the neat things is that you can see how we can use traditional After Effects elements to composite with our 3D to get a really nice finished product. And all this is gonna render out and we're gonna end up with a very high quality professional looking motion graphic. So for GPU ray tracing, you want all the horsepower you possibly can. So I've reconfigured my Maxima system. I'm still using the Tesla C2075, but I've replaced the Quadro 2000 with the Quadro 5000. If I wanted to go insanely fast, I could even replace it with a Quadro 6000. So in CS6, Adobe is shipping SpeedGrade, a professional color grading application that uses NVIDIA Quadro GPUs to accelerate the color grading process. Video professionals are gonna love SpeedGrade because it really gives you the most precise control over your color grading. You can do advanced secondary color correction, spot color correction, and it all uses the NVIDIA GPU to accelerate that process. Video professionals who wanna use a SDI monitor for the best color accuracy, SpeedGrade exclusively supports the Quadro SDI output card for output to an SDI monitor. So that's how we use the new features in Adobe CS6 when we edit our music video, and how NVIDIA Quadro GPUs helped us accelerate the effects in Premiere Pro, After Effects, and SpeedGrade. There's a lot more information, so check it out at www.nvidia.com.